In this exercise, we will explore storytelling through a work of art from our permanent collection called Roboman and the Killer Rabbits. Take a moment to locate the pause button so you are able to complete this exercise at your own pace. If possible, you will want to download and print the worksheet from the website. The link is located on our website right above this video. If you don't have access to a printer, feel free to use your own blank paper. It will do the trick just fine. Let's begin. What do you see? Take a moment and just look. You might start at the bottom of the painting and work your way up. Or you might look from left to right. Maybe you zoom in and look at a section of the painting that intrigues you. At this moment, you should be actively seeing. Now I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to write down the first thoughts that come to mind in the first column on your worksheet. Who is the main character? Are there other characters? How many other characters are there? What do you think the relationship between characters is? What makes you say that? What about the background? Where does this take place? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? What do you think the characters are thinking and feeling in this moment? What kind of colors? lines, and shapes do you see? What are the characters doing? For the remainder of the exercise, it is important to remember that subjects in art can vary between people, places, events, and ideas. If this artwork were the beginning of a story, what might the story be? What might happen next? Remember the notes you wrote down when you were actively seeing the painting? Use those to fuel your ideas. Don't worry if what you write makes sense right now. Just record your initial thoughts. Now for column three. If this artwork is in the middle of a story, what might have happened just before? And what might be about to happen? And finally, if this artwork is at the end of the story, what might the story be? Now find a good stopping point for yourself. You've just completed an exercise you might experience with one of our docents at the museum. Stick around for another moment to hear more about the artist and the work you just explored. The artist Peter Lacasio is interested in exploring ideas that stem from psychology, most notably a theory called the collective unconsciousness, which suggests that all of us humans are born with the same knowledge about certain things and that we inherit that knowledge. What are those certain things though? We really don't know, but the theory suggests that in moments of crisis, human beings can tap into those shared ideas. Locasio connects his idea with this shared and inherited database of knowledge with the act of painting. He uses a recurring character known as Roboman as a figure that he pictures is looking at our world from a distance. It's interesting that he uses a robot to symbolize man, isn't it? What we collectively know about robots is that they can't feel. It is thought that the rabbits in Locasio's paintings are symbolic of the people and things that work against us, and that the rabbits are attempting to pierce Roboman's body, but that he is unable to feel his own pain and therefore is unable to emotionally understand what the rabbits might be experiencing. Thanks for sticking around. We hope to see you again soon. Stay well and stay safe.